Usually when we think about lasers, we think about lasers heat things, set things on fire, destroy things. But here we use the energy of the laser to cool a crystal that can be attached to anything else that needs to be cool for better performance. The goal of optical refrigeration is to cool all kinds of sensors or devices that require low temperatures without generating any noise or vibrations. One of the applications of optical refrigeration or laser cooling is actually in cancer detection, especially skin cancer, where thermal cameras image slight differences in the patient's skin, and that's where you would want a very small and compact cryocooler that doesn't make much noise, that doesn't take up a lot of space in order to cool those infrared cameras. So this is a traditional closed cycle helium cryostat and as you can see it is very big, it takes up a lot of optical table space and it is run by a giant compressor that's very noisy when it's turned on and we can cool to similar kind of temperatures with our optical refrigeration device which as you can see is much smaller, much more compact. One of the things that we have to do here is to use these plastic panels to prevent the dust that comes from the vents, from the walls, from the floor, to get into our laser system, to get our laser to be more stable and more, our measurements more accurate. Also to make sure that we get clean air on the system, we have these um, HEPA filters in installed up here to push clean air down on the equipment to keep them safe and stable for our measurements. The building that our labs are currently in is from the 50s and that severely limits our ability to do research. We have to keep updating power or cooling water. The air conditioning hardly ever works. So in our labs we have space problems as you can see and also temperature problems to a point that we had to get this unit from PPD and hook it up into the ceiling so the temperature is more comfortable for us and our equipment won't overheat while we're using them. We are the world leader in optical refrigeration research despite our old building and outdated labs. If the GeoBond passes, the new facility would only be a start to all the new possibilities in research and education here at the University of New Mexico.